2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. You cannot make your head ball nor shave your beard. Your beard. Because that's not part of your culture. That's right. Let me get this culture. What is this culture? Let me get this Sirach. Let me get this Sirach. I'm going to show you what your heritage is. All right? You have a heritage as a black man, black American, so forth. You have a heritage, and it's not the Egyptian one. You as a man got to let your beard grow. It's an it's a, it's a, uh, it's honor, honorable thing for a man to wear his beard. That's right. It's a badge of honor, as a matter of fact. Scholars determine that. That is a badge of honor. Why us as men want to destroy our natural um, being, our natural structure? Because the next thing you know, you shave your beard, guess what's going to happen next? You see it around here. You're going to be wearing skirts. You're going to become more and more feminine. You know what I'm saying? So you got to pay attention to that. It's spiritual. God's laws is spiritual. He's telling you, do not shave your beard for a reason. Not only that, medically, what happens when you shave off and you shave your beard? What happened to the black man when he do that? What happened to his beard? A lot of bumps and pus. Right. So now you're looking real unclean trying to look clean. You look sick. I was guilty of that. You know? So you have to you have to obey God's laws. It's a manly thing. Let me get that in the uh in the, in the dictionary. Anybody got the dictionary? Find it for him, my manual. Find it. Alright, I'm gonna read it. Read the definition of beer, right? From the Bible Dictionary, Sunderland Compact Bible Dictionary. Not written by no Negro, right? Because a lot of our people rather hear a white man tell them something and they will follow. All right? This was written by white scholars, so-called. Because they're not white, they read, right? To say what beer is according to what's written in the Bible. All right? Read that. This is the Sunderland Compact Bible Dictionary. The definition of beer. A badge of manly dignity. Badge of what? Manly dignity. You hearing that, my brother? That's a badge of manly, manly dignity. So you cannot shave on your face. That's right. All right? You cannot shave off your face. All right? That is an honorable thing for you as a black man to hold on to. All right? Because like I said before, you shave off your hair, you're going to paint your lips up with lipstick. You want to put your looking like a boy, right? It's an honorable thing to have whitey hair as well. Let it grow. Let it come in. Let it grow. That's your heritage. Did you know you was an Israelite according to the Bible? Have you ever heard that, Solomon? You heard that before. And how can you prove that if somebody asks you that I am a, a Jew? How can you prove that? Yes, beautiful. My name is Solomon. That is, I love him so for you to ask you that because the brother had told me that. So I said, well, it's him for you to ask you that because I want to find some validity in it and find out how true it is. And guess what? The most I let you hear, the spirit of the most I let you hear, to hear the truth. I'm going to prove to you that according to the Bible, right, you are a Jew. If you knew you wanted to talk to these people, then you should have went on about your business. Listen, you don't do you that to your wife. Listen, I'm not your fucking listen, girlfriend. You the man of the Kiss house, my ass, bitch. You got to stand up as don't a man. And I can see why you destroyed. Because you got to allow women in your house, bro. That's out of order. She's supposed to be submissive to you. You get what I'm saying? He's, he's going to he's going seek it for God, sister. You got to seek for God. Right. And think about it, brother. The sister called brothers a bitch right in front of you. 
That's, that's the problem with our sisters. The sister called us a B-I-T-C-H. This is the reason why a lot of our sisters don't respect the brothers. I'm going to tell you why. A lot of times when they was young, their fathers was wicked as hell towards their mother. So they don't know how, they didn't know how to overcome the hurt and pain, so now they take it out on everybody. And that's a lot of our sisters are like that. We can't get mad at us, so to speak, but she is a product of destruction. That's right. But you as a brother, you got to rise up and be a man of your household. Read that verse again. Read Corinthians. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 34. No, 11 and 3. Oh. 11 verse 3 but I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ and the head of the woman is the man and the head of the that's, woman is the man that's, that's what God, God says brother you understand that's what the scriptures say these Christians don't follow the Bible that's right they don't follow the scriptures because the scripture clearly states in the New Testament that the man is the head of the woman and Christ is the head of the man and God is above Christ there's order in the scriptures. But for sisters to be talking reckless out their mouth, talking crazy, that's, that, that let us know that we are destroyed. So they ain't no Christian. They just are religious, uh, more, we just religious morons out here right now. They go to church Sunday, act holy as hell. But on, the, on Saturday, calling brothers the B word. That's how crazy our sisters are, and, and brothers too. So read that verse again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. The head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God. But I guarantee you, brother, and I don't try, I'm not even trying to do that, but here's the thing. If you was a white man, she would not do that to you. That's how crazy our people are. If you, if she was a white, if you was white, she would treat you better. I'm telling you straight, because these sisters love these white men today. They love G, the white Jesus. It's in their soul. They're having sex with men, black men, and all of that, but their soul is connected to a white man that we call Jesus today. Right that's, that's why they disrespect us, brother. I'm gonna tell you straight. White men walk around, they don't do none of that. Same thing with the brothers. They don't rob the brothers. They don't rob white men. They rob their own people. Because we hate ourselves. That's what it is. We hate ourselves. Read that verse again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. So I'm telling you straight up, brother, a, a lot of our sisters don't believe in the Bible like that. Brothers too, Christians don't believe in the Bible. I'm telling you, they don't. They up. believe in the pastor, and they believe in a gospel song. That's it. If you take the gospel song away, and you take away pastor, we have more, we have religious uh, nutcases out here. Read it again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. So always remember that, brother. You have to put, give me that, put off the weak nature in Ezra's. Second Ezra's 14. I think that's it. So you understand this, brother? Yeah. This is a real serious thing. This is really serious. This is the reason why our families are out of order. Our kids are mentally broken down. What we just saw was a Willie Lynch system set up. Because white men told, taught our black women to be disrespectful to their black men. Right. They taught us that. Dominicans too, Puerto Ricans, when they come in this country, because Puerto Ricans and Dominicans and Salvadorians, Mexicans, when they were living in that country, the women did not act like that. But as soon as they got to America, women became out of control. You know that already. Because it's different when you go to the country, you go to Jamaica, Trinidad, DR, when you go to all them third, uh, third world countries and all those things. Women don't act crazy like this. But when they get here, they become more independent and more disrespectful. Independent woman doesn't mean be disrespectful, but they turned it into that. Now read this. Second Ezra chapter 14, verse 14. Let go from these mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. The scripture says, brother, as men, we got to put off the weak emotional nature. We got to put that off. Let's put the, the crying away. Let's put the this weak to the woman Maxwell stuff. We gotta put this stuff away. That's right. You understand right. that, brother? We gotta be men again. That's why the women be disrespecting us because we have not shown real manhood. We have shown effeminate, faggot traits. Excuse my language. Gay traits. That's out of order. That's what we've been doing, in, in, us men today. Read it again. Let go from these mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of men. Put off now the weak nature. Because who they push in the TVs when we was kids? Michael Jackson. We love Michael. 
but Michael had an effeminate spirit. That's right. Prince, great music, but guess what type of spirit? Was it manly? Hell no. I seen a video with Prince, he had pants on with the, his, his butt cheeks cut out on the pants. That's not how men are supposed to roll. Look at these young brothers sagging their pants and showing their boxes. That's not manhood, that's destroyed. You understand that, brother? That's the, read that verse again. Let go from the immortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of men. Put up now the weak nature. You understand that, brother? Because I know when you get home, it's going to be an argument with homegirl. It's going to be crazy. But the, I'm going to tell you the secret. When women be arguing with you, don't even respond. Just be quiet. Don't yell back and that because they like, they like the argument. Don't argue. I just ignore them. And then when they, when they calm down and when they're able to be spoken to, that's when you speak to them. But when they be start screaming in your face, because once you scream back, that's when she, she, might swing, she might swing at you, all type of stuff. Then when you put your hands on her to defend yourself, guess what happened? She's calling white man, God, police to get you arrested. So you brothers, I'm telling you, I know that a lot of y'all brothers got women. And the women be talking reckless and they be in your face. Don't argue with them. Just leave. Give me that. Give me a... Uh... If you're among the indiscreet, observe the time. I got Find that for me. But give me that uh, other, put off the weak nature scripture. Give me that scripture again. A lot, of, a lot of our brothers be going through domestic violence. That's a big thing in the black and Latino community. Domestic violence. When the brothers are beating their wife. Or the wife is beating the husband. But the husband is so afraid to do something, he don't call the cops. He just lets it happen. You understand? But if you put your hands on a woman, guess where you going? You going to wipe this island. Read this verse now. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of men. Put up now the weak nature. Set that house in order. Where's that at? Is, is, is there? It's, it's the, the weak nature. It's, 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 it's in there. It's in there. Oh, yeah, verse five. Yeah, it's I in there. Uh, Four thirteen. It's, it's in there. Uh, verse thirteen. Yeah. Now therefore, set thine house in order. The scripture says, "Set your household in order." You ever heard that scripture, brother? The scripture says, "Set your household in order." Prove thy people! Now give me 1 Corinthians 7. You got the other one? I mean, it's a rock? 35. First, give me 1 Corinthians 7 about trouble in the flesh. This is good, but we, we, we teach it because we understand so like we understand this stuff. We understand what Type in, observe the time. And forth in a marriage. We observe get it. The time. Most of us over here is married. So we understand what's going on. Now read this. 1 Corinthians 7. You went wrong. 1 Corinthians 7 and verse, uh, what is it? 24. Yeah, tw what is it? Tw uh, 24. Yeah, 28. 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 28. But if thou marry, thou hast not sinned. And if a virgin marry, she has not sinned. So it's not wrong to get married. The marriage the Bible is talking about is man and woman, not this foolishness we see today. With woman and woman, man and man. A man that used to be a transgender marries a, a woman who you. All that stuff is crazy. Verse 28, but if, and thou marry, thou hast not sinned. But if a virgin marry, she has not sinned. Nevertheless, shall all have trouble in the flesh. The scripture says in our marriages, we're going to have trouble in the flesh. Meaning there's going to be arguments, problems, and all of that. It's going to be that. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 so go ahead, uh, Yama God. I know I'm going to have that now. Yeah, brother, so listen. I know I'm going to have that now. At the, end, listen, at the end of the day, right, you got to save yourself. To seek your own salvation. You gotta seek your own salvation, my brother. Okay, you gotta stand up as a man and seek your own salvation. The hell with what you wanna be loud and stubborn. The hell with that, bro. You gotta stand up as a man and save your own soul. Okay? She don't see you as a, as a, as her lord, as her head. She see you as a regular nigga. How we know that? The way she approached the prophets. Calling us the B word and everything else like that. For a woman to have that type of courage, you know what that is? She's destroyed. All right? You got a damn devil in your house, to be honest with you. She's destroying your life, my brother. But the most I have so something in store for them. The most I describe those type of women. Read. Ecclesiasticus, chapter 26, verse 24. A dishonest woman contemneth shame. But an honest woman will reverence her husband. You see the difference, bro? A dishonest woman brings shame. That's what she's doing. 
But an honest woman, she will reverend you, meaning what? She will praise you, up, he'll uphold you, right? So the woman that you have right now, brother, she's a dishonest woman. More, there's more. Read. First, hey, Solomon, Solomon, read there. Listen to this. Listen a to this. shameless woman shall be counted as a dog. So she's a dog. She's shameless. So the, the Bible describing your wife as a dog. Because she's shameless to come in front of us, this you, and disrespect us verbally. Read. But she that is shamefaced will fear the Lord. And that's the difference. And that wife that you have has no fear of the Lord. Now the brother goes and feed it. Home. But I don't blame him 100%. I blame the damn churches that have been set up by your enemies. The so-called Europeans. Alright? The so-called Europeans. Your school system that is being taught by transgender. Okay? The transgender kid, the transgenders are teaching your children in their libraries. Okay? That's what they do. They destroy our community. They feminize the men, the black men. The black man has become weak. When the Bible says for you to stand up as a man, let me get first kings two. When the Bible says for you to stand up as a man. What have we, have we become? Black men, Hispanic men. Where are your cojones? ¿Dónde están los cojones de los hombres aquí? ¿Por qué los hombres no se mueven como hombres? Se mueven como mujeres. ¿Qué es lo que está pasando en nuestra comunidad? Read that. First Kings, chapter 2, verse 1. Now the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he charged Solomon his son, saying, So David told his son Solomon, gave him a message before he, he died, before he went to death. Read. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore. So he told him, be strong. Not weak. Don't let your woman run you. He said, be strong. Read. And show thyself a man. Show yourself a what? Amen. You gotta show yourself a man. Right. Black men, Hispanic men. How are you gonna let a hundred pound woman rule you? Tell you what to do. Come Take and push you out in front of people. That's disrespectful as hell. Right. Well, I blame the churches. I blame your educational system. I blame you mothers who this the fathers. I blame you. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. And keep what? The charge of the Lord thy God. So I keep these commandments as a man. That is man. No matter how much you could push, how much weight you could bench, to be a man is to stand up and keep God's commandments. That's right. right. That's right. Say no to drugs. Take care of your families. That's to be a man. Love your brothers and your sisters. Stop the violence in your community. That's a man. Read. To walk in the, and keep the charge of the Lord thy God. To walk in his ways. To keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments. And that is to be a man. To walk on his commandments and his statutes. Not being in a gang. The gang, that's the weakest thing. Because why you don't stand up for yourself? Why you need a hundred men to be behind you? Or ten men to be behind you? in violence and in robbery, etc. You're supposed to stand up for yourself as a man. So being in a gang is not manly at all. All right? But that's what happened. That's a product of this society. Where they want to see the black man low. Because guess what? Your enemy knows how much valuable, how more valuable you are. You as a man don't know how valuable you are. Right. You don't regard yourself as a prophet. You don't regard yourself as a son of God. You see yourself as a nigger or a spick.
ain't saying that no more. It's our fault, man. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.